you can see the art, um, news article from RTE from Ireland here. It's concerning the wonderful scenes that took outside the place outside Leinster House today, which are of deep concern as they show a, a country that's becoming very polarised and fractured politically. Taoiseach condemns scenes outside Doyle. Taoiseach Leo Varadkar has said the threat level against politicians has risen in recent times and what happened outside Leinster House yesterday was wrong. TED and staffs were unable to leave the grounds of the National Parliament for several hours after yesterday afternoon due to the incident. Considering the protest involved hanging, hanging um, politicians in effigy, that's not exactly a, a great sort of look. And it, can, it shows how frustrated people are. I will say that even though I tend to the extreme left in politics, the refusal of anyone in the Irish government to sort of deal with local concerns is annoying. There seems to be a kind of stick your fingers in your ears mentality and ignore these stupid cultures in the villages going on about matters like immigration. You're not going to get people on your side or make any progress with these issues or produce a society that's organized and stable if you just ignore them and block them out. It will just degrade and degrade and turn into more and more protests with the potential for violence at all of them. Also, there are some very essential questions to be asked about the number of people who have migrated to Ireland last year. Ireland is a small country. It's only 5.2 million people or so. You can't possibly just keep shoveling people into such a small nation just on the banality of sentimentality. That's not going to house people or feed them or help them along. It's hurtful to them as well as it is to the local residents. The government in Ireland has to, at some point, sit down and hammer out all answers to awkward questions, not come out with woolly stuff. And the minute the locals in small villages and towns are annoyed is, is understating it massively. You have people blocking roads to stop immigrants entering the local hostels and hotels. You have anger and shouting. The potential for violence is constantly there. It's, it's almost becoming anarchy. There were constant protests in Dublin at, at one point recently. You had people who were annoyed in the sort of working class areas of the, Dublin, who felt that they were just being marginalised and ignored. This is not a way to run a society. People's concerns, whether they are from the top or bottom, say need to be heard. This is what an independent Ireland was meant. This is not what an independent Ireland was meant to be. We can't do better than this. It's poor. Here's another article on the same same thing. Politicians tally the impact of grimly eventful day. They walked homemade mock gallows up Molesworth Street and saying you'll never beat the Irish. No, we seem to be able to do that ourselves. All along the sides of their chilling prop, they placed pictures of well-known politicians. Demonstrations are familiar in these parts, but there was a venomous high energy feel to this gathering. They threw urine at lens to house staff and spare others. They ran frenetically and shouted at all manners of threats when politicians or indeed anyone tried to get inside the Garda barrier to access the National Parliament from Kildare Street. The early analysis from politicians was well, this was all more aggressive than usual, but certainly not out of control. Some even joked that they passed through the demonstrations unnoticed. One Fina Gale TD achieved this by not wearing a tie and jacket and sporting a rucksack. In other words, you passed through it, mate, by pretending not to be a politician. That's why you got through it, because no one thought you were a TD. No one thought you were a Tiakta Dala. So you managed to run on into Leinster House and, by pretending to be something you're not, which actually indicates to me there's a great deal of hate. Others failed to see any bleak hilarity in what was unfolding. Later in the afternoon, things became more tense. And I'll put some video links in the description, in the description with this video. At this point, it was clear that politicians were having serious difficulty going to and from their place of work. Or, Cars were lined up for hours before the gates to Merrion Street could be opened to allow them to depart. There were even security orders in place for a while not to permit anyone to exit the grounds. And the sense of siege was palpable. I should imagine um, we've got um, jostling, shoveling, bottling, throwing, people throwing urine about. Once you start seeing this sort of stuff in the National Parliament, it's not a good sign. We have a, Ireland has problems. And immense problems at the minute with homelessness 
and the huge cost of living in areas like Dublin, which are crippling for even let alone members of the working class, even members of the middle class or young professionals simply can't afford to live there. These are issues that really do need to be addressed very, very seriously.